So, what's going on guys? This is Brian Pickwitz here, BP Fitness. I want to talk to you guys today and give you this message about something I think every single one of us struggles with, and that's believing in more. Believing in ourselves and really shaping the destiny and, and the path that we want to take our lives in. And so for a lot of us, I know myself included, there's always this sense that our circumstances are shaping who we become. That our beliefs are driven by the ideas that we've been instilled from our birth and from when we start our journey and when we start this place where we want to strive and achieve more, we end up setting ourselves back because we don't actually believe that the things that we want in life can come to us. And so what I want to talk to you guys today is about really believing and stretching for more. And so how do you do that? How do you get to the place where you're actually designing life that you control and that you know that you're manifesting your actions into something positive for you? And I want to talk to you guys about something that comes from my life because when I first started this journey, when I first started really getting into fitness, getting into coaching, and really getting into a place where I could help myself while helping other people. I remember going to college, I was working three jobs, I was working 60 hours a week, and I was doing all these different things that were leading me in the direction that I thought that I wanted to be in, but there was also a part of me that didn't have these beliefs that I could actually accomplish what I wanted to. I remember when I was working my job, I was just thinking to myself, like, I can't work 60 hours a week. Even while I was in college, it was like, this is going to be the template that I set up for the rest of my life and I knew that doing the things that were so called practical or doing the things that people wanted me to do wasn't what I wanted. I didn't want to be in a place where I was working for someone else. I didn't want to be in a place where someone was directing my destiny. I really didn't want to be in a place where I wasn't able to pursue my passion of helping people. So I decided to do a contest. I was 250 pounds and it took a lot for me to actually diet and get ready for a contest. I ended up losing 55 pounds in seven months. And the whole time as I was starting, there were so many people around me who were like, why would you do this? Why would you start this path? It's not worth it, you're gonna fail. I remember people coming up to me and laughing at me and telling me like when I first started doing it that I was making a mistake and I was a joke and that I would never be able to succeed and those kinds of beliefs that people instill on you can either make you or they can they can really bring you down to a place where you don't succeed because their limitations are what's feeding your thoughts. So you have to do different things. You have to shape your destiny and you have to fuel your body with something that's more than just the surface level of motivation because motivation doesn't last. You have to get started and you have to act. You have to decide to decide a actual protocol that's going to get you to where you want to succeed. And so how do we do that? How do we start when things are Around us don't seem to be shaping in the way that we want. How do we design an actual system to get ourselves there? The biggest thing, guys, is you have to believe in what you're doing. You have to believe it's worth it. You know, if you think that you're wasting your time, a lot of times people who I work with, a lot of people I talk to, they'll talk to me about you know being fit and being healthy, and they'll be like, "Well, I tried everything." And they'll be like, "Okay, what have you tried?" Well, I tried hundreds of things. Okay, we'll name them. Well, I've tried three things, and every time I do them, I hate them and they don't work. So that's why I quit. And the truth is, is that when we aren't getting the results that we feel we deserve, we feel like we're wasting our time. We feel like we're not doing what's actually adequate for our goals and that's what sets us up to feel unmotivated and uninspired. But if you can find the things that actually make you feel inspired and you can pursue those things and you can chip away and chip away and move that needle forward and do them better every single time, you're gonna get to the place where you actually see that success become something more. And I know it's really tough. I know that if you're watching this right now, there's things you've tried just like me like when I started my business there was a lot of things I had to try that didn't work there was a lot of training techniques that I had to learn to maneuver there was the ways of interacting with clients and getting them to feel like they were actually getting the most of me that I had to improve on but you don't get there by believing you can't improve you don't get there by saying to yourself that this isn't worth it and that I can't succeed Everyone that you know who is successful or has what you want has failed miserably. But the truth is, is that that belief that there is something more for them, that there's good in the world that is theirs, and that desire to 
find a way to conquer that is what's going to shape your destiny. And so what I want to talk to you guys about a little bit more and give you this sense of if you're watching this video and you feel like you're actually hearing this and you feel like there's something you want to set as a standard for yourself, start changing the things around you. Start putting something positive in your day. Start doing things every single day that's going to map out that motivation for you to believe in more. For me, I have to meditate every day. I write my goals every day. I have to think about the positive things that I want to bring into my field of existence because it's not enough to just say I want that. I have to actually believe it. And in order for you to believe it, you have to encompass it all. And so for you guys watching this video, find things that are going to make you feel like you're moving the needle in the right direction. You don't have to be perfect. You do not have to be the person who goes to the gym six days a week and starts crushing every single workout and is on the diet plan 100%. But you have to do the things that are moving you in the right direction. So if it's going to the gym three days a week, if it's being a little bit more cognizant of what you're eating, if it's hiring the right coach, if it's getting that trainer, if it's just being there in a place where you can say, hey, you're my best friend. I know that we both want to do this together. Let's do this and let's push each other. If you can find a way to believe in more, if you can find a way to manifest your actual thoughts into the direction that you want to be in, you're going to succeed. And I think it's the most important that you look at it now as you have two weeks, three weeks to make this year the best year yet. Now that might not sound practical. 2017 is almost done and then we're on to 2018. I could wait till then. No, start right now. Start acting right now and start pushing yourself in the direction that you want to be heading in. If you get your momentum heading in that direction now, 2018 will be your best year. But don't write these weeks off. Don't write them off and don't think that you have to slow down right now. I want you guys to focus. I want you to feel it and I want you to believe that the things that you're trying to manifest can come to you if you actually put in the work. So this is Brian Pickwitz at BP Fitness. I hope you guys got this message. If you did, please share it with someone you want to be in reaching a need. Please comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. What are the things that you're stretching for in the next two weeks of 2017 and 2018? And above all else, keep striving for more and keep believing in more too. I'll see you guys.